don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's time to do the first page in the December double whammy for the Rogues Gallery. So we're on to the last two pages for December. So I had a look through um, one of the historical kind of when were people born type websites on the Tinterwebs uh, and I found the perfect candidate for our rogues gallery um, for December and that will be Sir Isaac Newton. Now the reason it's perfect for December is because he was actually born on Christmas Day. He was born on the 25th of December, just in case you didn't know when Christmas Day was. Um, so yeah, but wasn't expected to make it through the day. So it was obviously a difficult birth. Um, so all I'm going to do, just grab some vintage photo just to get rid of those white lines around the edges. I've already gone through my collection of ephemera bits and pieces and found some um, appropriate pieces and um, we're also going to be doing some and I did get some washi tape out as well have I left that washi tape over there I have it's on my desk so if Mr Ian would be so great uh, so gracious as just to pop it over for me and just stick his hand in and say hello <laughs> just hello everyone <laughs> yeah. okay yeah, what are you doing accounts you're doing accounts work it is this year's accounts though, isn't it? Lot, it is, lot. I'm on to July, which is very good for me. It is. It's caught up. Right, so, Sir Isaac Newton. Not the normal picture that you are used to. This one is of, uh, uh, as a younger man. The portrait um, painted, I'm not exactly sure when, um, sometime in the 1600s. So, what I've got, I've gone back for um, the marbled paper for the background, mainly because it's red and green which kind of and looks like it's got veins of gold in it so which is perfect for a kind of Christmassy themed background but without being too overly festive which is what we're after so I'm also going to just go around the edges of that I'm not going to tear it or distress it let's just grungy it up a little bit dirty it up a little bit because that's what distress is it's dirt and grunge and age. Faux aging. Yeah. Just the opposite of those things on TV where they make you look younger. Oh that the, the eye serum that they're pushing at the moment. Oh yeah. It's an Australian eye serum which has been pushed on our TVs at the moment. Every single advert break it's got this thing in about this my was it my eyes or something. My eyes. Yeah. She says I look ten years younger, so you look good. Got for you, lovely. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that just slightly bigger so there's a nice little green border all the way around. There's the pencil or pen and we'll just do a little bit of a mark. So that should do it. So if we do it about there and do that one about there that should be big enough just to give us a little bit of a border all the way around. I shall just grab hold of one of my mini trimmers, which are kicking about. So there. And we said a boot. Stick it a boot there. Do, do. Okay, so rid of that. And dirty that up too. But not too much because I still want to see the green coming through. So the green paper is from a Tim Holtzy 8x8 paper pad. It's the one with all the needle books and buttons and that kind of thing on it. which as you can imagine wasn't particularly my favourite one but I'm liking the green on the back 
which is fine. So what we normally do when I'm building these um, rogues gallery pages is I tend to build the clusters on the back end and then when it's all complete then stick it into the journal. So um, the second page that I will be doing in December I'll do in a week or so. Um, again I tried to find somebody who has a a connection if you like um, but also somebody whose birthday means something in December too so and I found the perfect candidate but I'm not going to tell you who it is just yet just yet we'll wait until we actually do the page for him of course in the new year when I start on my second volume of these kind of collage clusters we not only will be doing the rogues gallery but we'll also be doing the ladies too so it'll be a mixed now what I've decided I'm going to do is there will be heroes and heroines rather than rogues next year um, although you say Newton wasn't exactly a rogue well actually he did have some very very strange ideas um, when the plague was ravaging the UK, he did suggest that and come up with a recipe for using toad vomit and um, other toad excretions to treat the bubonic plague. Not as bad as injecting yourself with disinfectant, mind you. Uh. But um, again, yeah, so he did have some very, very strange ideas um, about how to cure certain illnesses. Um, but also, he did write a paper on how to create the Philosopher's Stone. Yes, it is a real thing. J.K. Rowling didn't invent it. It was a, it was a thing well, well, well before. Um, she got her hands on it. But anyway, um, so this is um, just the front page to his uh, his paper on gravity and all that kind of stuff. So this is what that is. So author J.S. New Newton. So that's going to go down like that. And what I've also got that I pull in from the interwebs is an actual photograph of a double page spread from one of Newton's own journals. So this is Isaac Newton's own handwriting. Now I tried to read um, what this journal was about and it looks to me um, it's actually about cooking because it mentions vegetables and cake and that kind of thing in it so it might just actually be a diary um, which obviously a diary is what Americans call a journal but here when you're writing down your thoughts and your feelings it's a diary um, not just one of those things that you keep appointments and that kind of things in. So we're going to do that. So we've got one of Newton's journal pages or his diary page, front cover from one of his mathematical principles um, as our backdrop. So let's grab the glue and we'll stick that down first. So apart from um, obviously being a mathematician and scientist and all the rest of it Newton was also um, <laughs> a Mason, a Freemason some say Illuminati depends who you believe, what other books you read but that's a topic for another day um, what else was he? oh yeah the thing about the apple and his thing about gravity um, The thing about the apple dropping on his head, obviously, is apocryphal, not true. Is it not? No, it was sat under an apple tree and was watching apples fall from the trees. One didn't actually land on his head. So, yes, so that wasn't exactly true. But it was also a prolific letter writer as well, because, you know, Newton couldn't send emails or make phone calls, so the only way that they could communicate was via letter. So 
let's just stick this down as well. So this is a letter or a postcard. And the only reason I'm using this is because I like the fact that it's got little red stamps on it and it makes a nice little cluster. And Mr. Newton can then go in the middle of all that, just like so. Me likey. But what I also want to do is I just want to put a couple of little bits of washi tape in there. So this one's got handwriting on it, even though we've got handwriting there. So we can find the end. Oh, it's going to be one of those. Right, I can't find the end in two seconds flat. Then I will just jump to the point where I find it. Rather than you waiting. It's there. There you go. Sensitive nails. So we'll have a little bit of washi tape. Um, I think just going up off the edge there. Just because. But I've also got some washi tape. That's also got mathematical equations on it. I don't know whether these are Newtonian or Einsteinian. Doesn't matter, it's still mathematics. So we'll still have that. Because who's counting, eh? Right, so we're going to put that about there. So what I'll do is I'll line that one up. Down there like that. Just because. There we go. You're doing a lot of heavy sighing. Yeah, I'm having problems again. <laughs> You've done, I need your help. With your accounts. Yeah, I can't try to copy a cell and it won't. Okay. Let me pop a little bit of washi tape just down there as well. Accounts are not your strong suit, are they, kid? I'm not, I'm afraid. I'm doing my best. So we said that there. Right, I've also got here, I'll be done in just a second anyway. Okay. No rush. So I'll just go around there. So obviously the thing with the apples, so I've got this fabulous vintage label for Kentucky Cardinal apples. We're going to hide that because obviously he's not from Kentucky. But we're going to keep the bit where it says about the apples. So I'll just put a little bit of glue on there. Because we do like the little apocryphal story of the apples. It's kind of a cute story, that one. So we're going to put that there, that there, like that. Have the apples there, like so. I've worked out what I'm doing wrong. Oh, OK, so you don't need my help then. No, thank you. Not at the minute, anyway. Not at the minute, anyway. No. OK. So we've got that. Right, so let me flip that over. And then we can add some more glue just onto that now so that Isaac can get stuck down. And then I'll add some little bit of glue on the back of there as well. And then we can stick him down onto the back. Like so. And then what I need to do is just put my little label for the month, which we will do. And I'll just add a little bit of glue on the back of that. Just a smidge. And then I'm going to put that going across there like so. But not only, but also, this will wipe up the excess glue. I normally like to add a little piece of metal, or a little metal embellishment on these things before on the page. So what I've got, is so I've got one of those Tim Holtzy um, label things, and I found this one. It says observations on it, as you can see, which I think is perfect for Isaac Newton. So for that, I think I'm actually going to do it so it goes across the top. So what I've got is I've got some seam binding. 
some nice copper coloured kind of seam binding. So I'm going to thread it through, try and thread it through anyway. So we'll go like that. So then that will come out over the top and then we'll thread it back through again underneath. I'm not bothered whether it twists or anything. Oh, cranky, that wind is certainly blowing today. It is. We've had storms and stuff like you've never known it where we are over the last couple of days. But no snow. The snow's all gone mm. still. So no snow. Right, so that is going to get put like that, I think. But what I want to do is just add a little bit of tacky glue just on the back of the label just to hold the ribbon like that and then I'll put a little bit of that glue on the back of there to hold that in place like so And then I can feed that around and then let me just cut a piece. What have we done with my scissors? There we go. And then I'm just going to tie that around. Hopefully that will just hold it in place. So, what I'll do, just tighten it a little bit and then I'll just add a second knot There we go And then I can just snip those off In an untidy mess There we go And then I can just shuffle that along a little bit There we go Just like that There we go, like that. Just pop that up a little bit and then hopefully that glue will just hold it in place. So what I'll do, even Mr Bentley's getting in on the act now. Can you hear him? He's grumbling. Okay, so I just need to let that set for a minute or two and then I can come back and add that to the journal. <laughs> I think he wants to go out. Right, be right back. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. So we're all dry. That's going nowhere now. So we can now add him to the journal. So he's going to go on this page here. But because it's now kind of bulging extremely, I've got some clips. <laughs> that I'm going to have to um, add. So all I'll do is I'm going to just put some glue top, bottom and down the one side there, including that, and down the middle. And I'm going to put a little bit just there. That should be enough to hold it in place. So I'll just flip that over. And then I can try and line that up. I'm going to add that clip to the inside edge of that just so it holds it. Just try and even it out so it's in the right kind of place. That one there and then this one will try and go right to the edge there as well. And hopefully that will hold them in place. Let's just do across the edges that way. That's going to hold it. It's like putting hair rollers in, isn't it? I'm 
always a fair pair. <laughs> it's unsightly, but it's it's necessary. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back hopefully when when that's set <laughs> glued. Okay, now the clips are off. There's the Sir Isaac Newton Rogues Gallery page for December because he's a Christmas baby. There you go. So, like I said, I will be doing the uh, the next one probably next week. Um, and if I get a chance, I will do November's as well. I did say I would do a second one for November. Uh, and somebody suggested that I do uh, Winston Churchill, which I probably will because he was born in November. So, the nice... Um, collection of heroes then Churchill, Twain, <laughs> Newton and then the as yet unnamed one for December okay so I hope you've enjoyed watching me put that one together if you have please remember to give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video that's all from me for now I'll see you all again very very soon bye for now I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.